Good afternoon. Thanks everyone for attending. Um, I'd like to welcome everybody to today's webinar, and I'd like to take a moment to thank you for your time. It's not hard to imagine how busy your lives must be with COVID-19, and I want to recognize and thank you for being so present and supportive in our community. My name is Robert Simpson. I'm the product manager for PharmaConnect here at TELUS. Uh, I've been with TELUS for about two and a half years, and prior to that, I spent about 10 years uh, building adherence and education programs for community pharmacies across Canada. As part of our agenda today, we'll look at uh, PharmaConnect. We'll investigate what PharmaConnect is. We'll talk about its features and benefits. We'll look at the available platforms. And we'll run through a few demonstrations. We'll look at onboarding a patient, requesting a refill, a new prescription. We'll look at managing dependence. And we'll do some Q&A at the end. So what is PharmaConnect? By design, PharmaConnect is an application that acts as an extension of the Kroll software in your pharmacy. It allows patients to order prescription refills and renewals. When I get asked about the features and benefits of PharmaConnect, it's always easy for me to tell somebody what it can do, but it's the easiest uh, explanation to look at the underlying categories of those features. It's a time saver, uh, it's, and it's very easy to use. And ordering refills should be easy, right? Um, with PharmaConnect, patients can, as we've said, order refills and renewals. They can perform the electronic submission of a new prescription. It provides access to detailed medication information, in the form of the Kroll Care uh, information that you print for your patients. Patients have access to their refill history, and they have access to patient reports. So those reports include things like tax receipts, medication history, uh, and medication expense reports. And it also allows pharmacies to automate pickup notifications. When we talk about the available platforms for PharmaConnect, PharmaConnect was designed for patients to be able to access it wherever they want. So patients can access it on their laptops or computers, or they can use their mobile devices, iOS and Android. We're gonna move right into the demonstration portion of our event today. And I'll take you through the web version of the platform. So to access PharmaConnect on either the web or an app, a user setup is achieved in three easy steps. We create a profile, we verify their identity, and then we link them to a pharmacy. Let's take a quick look at the account creation process, and that would start by clicking on the Create a New Account button. You can create an account or a profile. A user is only required to, to add an email address and a password. Identification only requires the name and date of birth. At that point, a verification email is sent to the patient, and they're supplied a code. Here's what that email looks like. The patient uses that code to complete the verification step. And once complete, they're, they're granted access to the site. At this point, what remains left is to link themselves to their pharmacy. So to link themselves to a pharmacy, we use a one-time code. This code is generated either by the pharmacy by way of a printout, or the patient can generate the code and show it to the pharmacist on their device. Let's take a quick look at how we would do this in Kroll. Generating a code in Kroll for your patient is done primarily by filling a prescription for an eligible patient. Eligibility means that the patient is not already registered, they're over 18, and they're not part of a nursing home. If desired, a code can be generated manually by adding a pharmacy link entry on the patient profile. And when complete, you can either share the code with the patient verbally by phone, or if they're in person, you can print a leaflet for them that contains the instructions for registering and, connect and connecting. The printed leaflet looks like this. For patients who use a mobile device, once they have that printout, they can scan that QR code using their device, and that completes the process for them. It's quite simple. Let's go back to the web and take a look at how the patient would use the leaflet there. So the patient would enter the code as it appeared on the leaflet and click continue. When the verification process is nearly complete, the patient is asked to confirm their name and phone number and date of birth. This will be used to match the profile in Kroll. And when done, they have access to their, their profile. 
So patients can see active prescriptions on their profile. Active prescriptions are those that are not expired, not past the stop date, not a fee for service, and prescriptions that haven't been transferred out of the pharmacy. For patients who have no refills left, renewals can be requested, but there is intelligence built into the system. If the prescriber doesn't allow fax or phone refills, the system will generate a, an alert to the patient that they need to contact the prescriber directly rather than asking you. At this point, we'll go through the process of requesting a refill. So for the balance of our demo, we're gonna follow a patient named Brenda Lucas. So Brenda has two prescriptions on her profile. Each prescription is identified by a card that displays the information for the prescription. So the prescription information is there. She can see the brand name, the strength, the number of tabs they supply, uh, the number of refills remaining, and when it was last filled. They can also see additional details for the prescription. So in this case, the additional details expand out everything that was available on that card. And from here, the patient can also view their refill history or view additional drug information. The refill history page would display all of the information for previous refills in the last year. And if they wish to see additional information on the medication, the drug information screen comes next. The drug information screen is really just an e-version of the Kroll Care document that you would print for your patients in pharmacy. Very important to note that any information that a patient sees or interacts with on PharmaConnect comes from your instance of Kroll in your pharmacy. Nothing clinically or visual is ever sourced from anywhere else. So back to Brenda, she's about to order her refills and she's selected add to cart for both her prescriptions. Once she's ready to proceed, she can click the View Cart button in the top corner. The cart will display the medications that Brenda has requested for refill. Brenda can set the checkout time, uh, which would indicate to the pharmacy when she wants to pick up, date and time. And when she's ready to confirm, she can click the Review button. Once everything is done, if there's nothing additional to change, she can click the checkout button and she'll be presented with an order confirmation. Let's take a look at what happens now in Kroll. In Kroll, when a prescription has been submitted by a PharmaConnect, the to-do queue screen is updated with the new request. It's automatically prioritized based on the date and time of pickup. Also part of the equation is the concept of a default wait time. So for each type of prescription, you can set a default wait time in your configuration, and the system will take that into account, including your, your hours of operation and any holiday. So as an example, if a patient ordered a prescription at two o'clock on Monday, you close at five and there's a four hour delay before it's ready, it would calculate that there's three hours left in the day. It would know that tomorrow is a holiday, it would know when you open at nine o'clock on Wednesday and would calculate that you need to have it ready for 10 a.m. on Wednesday. So it takes all of that into account for you and sets the expectation for the patient properly. The request is automatically linked to the correct patient and prescription and is ready for processing. You would now follow your regular pharmacy workflow steps to complete the prescription. Filling the prescription takes place following your normal process. And while that happens, the patient is updated, letting them know that the, pro the prescription is in progress. Once the filling is complete, the patient receives a ready for pickup notification. Patients within the app can configure themselves to receive those notifications by a push, SMS, or via email. We'll take a look now at ordering a new prescription using the app. So if a patient decides to order a new prescription, the application can also accommodate this request. Please note that in some regions, you are not permitted to submit electronic, uh, electronic prescriptions. Um, we don't block pharmacies from doing that, but we would ask you to pay attention to that legislation. On the home screen, the patient clicks the Submit New Prescription button. They're provided with a simple file selection tool where they can pick a copy of the image that they wish to submit to you and any, any notes that the pharmacy needs as well. Once ready, 
patient can sub submit the click or so here, oh, sorry, the patient can click the add to cart button. At this point, the process becomes the same as requesting a refill, but with fewer details as the system can't decipher what that image contains. Again, the patient can set the pickup date and time, review, and submit. And just like before, they receive, they receive an order confirmation letting them know where to pick up the prescription and at what date and time. In Kroll, the process is largely the same with the exception of the fact that we've been submitted a new prescription image. We don't yet know what it contains. So where this differs is under the brand name column, you will see script image instead of the brand name. Just like scanning a document in your pharmacy, you'll be able to review that image and tweak it if required. And then you can transcribe those details into Chrome. If, if the patient is submitting any notes, they'll be available in two places for you. One in the Rx comments and two in the notes field for the work order. As soon as the prescription is pulled into Kroll, the patient gets an indication that the prescription is in progress. And once the prescription has been completed and is ready for pickup, they receive a notification and that prescription appears with the balance of their prescriptions on their profile. We'll talk a little bit about managing dependence. So just like onboarding of Brenda, our test patient, if Brenda wants to take care of other members of her family, she can do so. Onboarding um, dependents and even pets is an option. And so as you can see now in Brenda's profile, she has a new tab. She has her mother's account here listed. And her mother's prescriptions will, will be available for her to manage just the same way that she managed her own. We'll talk a little bit about the importance of PharmaConnect as it relates to supporting physical distancing. At the current time, trying to keep patients safe requires them to have other solutions than they may have been used to. So some patients are very comfortable ordering through an IVR, but most patients prefer to, stay to, you know, to show up in pharmacy and request them giving you little to no wait time. But by using PharmaConnect, we can support physical distancing by having the time that a patient needs to spend in pharmacy reduced dramatically. We can empower patients to order their new prescriptions electronically as well. And we can give patients the ability to manage the prescriptions of their family members as a way of keeping those that we deem high risk away from pharmacy. Before we head into our Q&A, I would like to remind our, our attendees that PharmaConnect is being offered right now for three months at no cost and we'll provide some additional information on how you can take advantage of that offer at the end of the call. And at this time, I'll turn over the moderator duties to my colleagues, Fanny and Veronique. Uh, remember that you can use the Q&A function on the right-hand side of your screen to type in any questions you might have. And Fanny, if you could please share with our participants right now how to ask questions by phone. All right, thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, to queue up for a question over the phone, please press zero one. So please, if you have a question, press a zero one. So we'll just give everyone a few seconds to queue up. In the meantime, Robert, um, maybe we can have a question from the chat. Sure. Um, so we, ha we have received a question. What if a customer wants to refill a new Rx, but they don't know what pharmacy to go to? Okay. So a prescription can be filled from PharmaConnect in what I'll call one of two ways. Um, when we first opened the presentation, um, we were going through the process of onboarding a patient. Technically, the preferred method of using PharmaConnect is a patient linked to a pharmacy. So the pharmacy um, provides you with that code and you're able to link that patient to you. Um, in that method, the, the patient would be submitting the, the prescription directly to that pharmacy. In the case that they have not linked to a pharmacy, we have search functionality that allows the patient to enter in the pharmacy name, address or some other search criteria where they can search and find your pharmacy, connect and link to you. Even if they're not linked to you by way of that code, a patient can submit a prescription to you if you are offering PharmaConnect in your pharmacy 
You'll receive the request the same way that you would any other prescription or just as we displayed on the screens earlier. Um, and the patient would then just not receive the notification at the end um, by way of SMS or email. They would have the ability to see on the screen that it's in progress and ready for pickup there. I hope that answers the question. Thanks. Tiny, do we have questions on the phone? No, we don't have any questions yet, but just as a quick reminder, to queue up your question, please press zero 01. Thank you. Maybe we can go with another chat question. So if we are not using Crawl Connect, are we able to input our own counseling sheets? Um, that would depend. I think currently right now, the only counseling sheets that are supported are uh, Crawl Care and or Vigilance. One of the things that I might like to add to both of these last two questions is that prior to going live with PharmaConnect, our training staff will help you perform the installation. They'll help configure the uh, system to match your pharmacy operations. And at that time, they also offer an in-depth Q&A with you and your staff. So if we don't have any other phone question, I do have another question on the chat. Um, so what is the cost of PharmaConnect normally? So it depends on how long you open a, uh, uh, an agreement with uh, TELUS for PharmaConnect. Currently for one year it is $59.99 and for two to three years it's $49.99. Whoever did ask that question though, I can, uh, I can put you in, in touch with the details. We have another question in the chat. It's a bit long, so I don't know if you want to have a look at it, or I, I can read it too. What if they know where they live but don't know what pharmacies in the area? Does the program use the patient address and geolocate the closest pharmacy, or does the patient need to know the name of the pharmacy they went to send it to? They want to send it to. That's a great question. So absolutely yes on both accounts. If the patient knows the name, they're able to type it in and search. If the patient doesn't know the name, yes, we do use geolocation when it is not blocked. Um, and we will narrow it down to about a 10 kilometer radius to start. But the patient using the Google Maps function built into the site has the ability to scan in and out to determine the closest pharmacy that um, utilizes PharmaConnect. Um, in that case, the likely uh, pharmacy that's closest will be yours, and the patient will be able to find that pharmacy. I believe that answered the question. Uh, we have another one. If there is no refill on file for the patient, is there a prompt in pharmacy, or are they prompted to call the pharmacy? Yep, that's a great question. So the functionality within Kroll uh, for renewal requests is built again with some intelligence. So if there are no refills left and the prescriber on file has no problem receiving uh, refill requests from the pharmacy, either by phone or fax, we will create a to-do queue, or sorry, a to-do item for you to request a renewal from the prescriber. If the prescriber has the parameters flagged that they do not accept phone or fax refills, the patient receives an indication on that uh, prescription card that they need to contact the prescriber directly. Actually, let me, let me extend the answer to that question. If the patient is already enrolled and using PharmaConnect with you, they reach the end of that prescription and then there are no more renewals left or refills left, they will receive a message indicating to them in enough time that they need to reach out to their prescriber and receive additional refills. Okay, we have another question. Is there any question on the phone? Just before uh, we don't have any moving. questions yet, but just as a quick reminder, please press zero one to ask a question. Thank you. Perfect. So we have another one. Since patients are not coming often to the store, is there a way to initiate the process and email the patient a link where they can start the enrollment process? Yeah, and that's that's a great question. One of the one of the um, uh, issues that pharmacies face with COVID-19 is not having the patient in front of them to initiate a conversation on a, a very timely, um, you know, product like this. 
And so, yes, we have a couple of solutions for that. You can email the patient using your own email functionality um, once you've generated the QR code or the leaflet for them uh, and send that to them, encouraging them to go through the process. But the other piece is that we've just completed development on what we're referring to as patient self-registration, meaning the patient can go to the PharmaConnect page, they can create their profile, and they can link to your pharmacy without having to involve the pharmacy staff. They don't need the leaflet. They just need to pick the pharmacy and then use prescription details that they already have access to uh, to, to generate the uh, registration and link to your pharmacy. This will be, I, be, I believe, a big time saver for pharmacies um, as they won't have to guide patients through the process of registering. And maybe just to complete on that, Robert, whenever a pharmacy signs up for PharmaConnect right now, they will also receive a promotional package uh, that we have made digital in the case because of the COVID-19 situation. So you can advertise uh, to your patient through uh, your social media, like Facebook, for example, as That's well. That's correct, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. That's true. We have another question. Um, Oh, we have a few questions. Let me just make sure. Okay, can the pharmacy send messages to the patients reminding them their prescriptions are due and initiate the contact? Can those messages be generated automatically by crawl? Uh, yes, uh, so development that we just completed that will be included in version 1020 of crawl. Um, updates our outbound communication module. And so what this does is add a couple of categories of messaging to patients. So on top of ready for pickup, you will have ready for refill messages that are sent out at a pre-configurable time range ahead of the uh, prescription being due for refill to remind the patient to come in and, and pick up a refill when it's due. Um, we also have the ready for the ready for renewal. So again, if, the, if there are no refills left um, and you can um, extend the prescription, um, you have that option and the message will be sent to the patient. Um, if you can't extend the prescription and the, and the physician accepts those requests, you'll be able to initiate that from Kroll. And if they don't allow um, renewal requests, again, the patient is indicated in enough time before the refill is due to get to the prescriber and get a new prescription to you so that they don't miss out on any of their refills. Thank you. We have another question. How long is the training for pharmacy staff to get up and running to use PharmaConnect? It's one of my favorite questions. So the, the reason it's my favorite is for the pharmacies, there's really very little in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in terms of training. So much of what you do right now is just augmented by PharmaConnect that we spend on average 20 to 30 minutes training between 5 and 15 people in a pharmacy. Training is actually really, really easy. Where pharmacies tend to spend more time is getting familiar with the patient side of the app. So they'll create their own test profile um, in, their, in their Kroll instance, link to it using an installation of the app so that they can be familiar in case the patient has questions. But within Kroll, you get a refill request in your to-do queue, to -do queue rather, and it appears just like any other. There's nothing that you need to do differently. There's nothing that you need to you know, perform additional training on. It's really more an awareness than a training. And then the, autom the automated notifications also ensure that there's very little for you to do in that regard. Um, again, training is generally between 20 to 30 minutes. I've seen it go as long as an hour for a larger staff pharmacy, but it's actually relatively quick. Um, we have another question. Um, it's a longer one. If a patient has added a new prescription for filling online, how can you determine if the prescription is authentic? Should we be asking for original when patient presents in the pharmacy? Is there a prompt for the patient to bring original to pharmacy? That's a great question. Thank you. So yes, on both, on both accounts. So when you receive a prescription that's electronically submitted, a new prescription through PharmaConnect, when you're previewing the prescription image prior to transcribing the details into a prescription, the prescription is watermarked with non-authoritative copy, and you are prompted at pickup to ask for the, the authoritative copy. When the prescription is being submitted by the patient, 
uh, and they're completing checkout, they are reminded that they will need to provide the physical copy of the prescription before receiving their, their prescription. I don't have any other questions on the chat or in the Q&A for now. Do we have any questions on the phone? No, we don't have any questions uh, at the moment. Thank you. We have a shy audience. Don't be shy. Um, oh, I have one. Is there an option for patients to request delivery? Yes, yeah, so if delivery is offered by your pharmacy um, and the patient has the delivery option available on their profile, then when they are at the, the point of completing checkout, where they're setting that time for pickup uh, date and time, they're able to request the delivery date and time there. Um, if delivery time is not something you support, the patient will be advised that uh, prescription will be delivered on X date, uh, and that's also built in as part of the default wait time. Um, so in your configuration, you're able to specify which day of the week you perform deliveries on, so as an example, if they ask for the delivery on a Tuesday, uh, it will be available on the next available delivery date, and they'll have a, a list of those available to select from. Uh, so yeah, the patient just needs to have delivery as part of their profile, and then it'll be available to them as part of the checkout process. Following up on that, we have another question. For delivery, will the patient be prompted to confirm delivery address? Yes. So as part of the delivery option, um, again, when a patient has the delivery uh, as part of their profile, there will be delivery addresses available for them to select, and they will be ones that have been chosen in the past or already set up in Kroll. The patient will be asked to confirm which of those addresses they want to receive their delivery at. Okay, we have another question. Does full Kroll workflow paperless need to be activated for PharmaConnect automated messages to be sent to the patient, or is this a manual feature? It's, it's a little bit of both right now. So if you're a pharmacy that doesn't use a full workflow, um, we have a couple of options for you. One, we've begun the process of creating what we'll call a pseudo workflow for you. We will create an in progress and a ready for pickup queue and train you on how to use those. If you are using Workflow, then all of this is automated for you. If you are not using Workflow, uh, we have two options that we're currently using. Again, as I said, we create that in progress and ready for pickup queue for you, but we also have the ability to allow you to send an, a ready for pickup notification when you're ready. So if you move into the ready for pickup queue, but you're not quite there yet, you haven't quite completed filling the, um, the uh, prescription for the patient, you have the ability to send the, the notification manually when you're ready, or you can have it triggered automatically as part of that dual queue setup that we'll create for you. And there's no additional charge for that. Okay, we have another question. Can the patient request other pharmacy products such as OTC and front store uh, through the app? I guess if the pharmacy isn't averse to that, a patient could request that through either of the note features. Um, there are two spots that a patient can add a note in the prescription refill request. So if your staff, um, you know, don't mind filling those requests through that medium, then absolutely the patient could do that. And that's something you could share with your patients. Out of box, there is no additional e-commerce built into the site. But if a pharmacy owner has multiple locations and wants to look at uh, what we call white labeling the, uh, the product. We can brand it to your pharmacy um, uh, brand, I guess, and, and, and uh, logos. Um, and we can look at the possibility of developing e-commerce integration with a web store that you already have established. That's a different pricing model completely, and we would have somebody contact you to discuss that separately. We have another question for delivery. Can we tell the patient that pharmacy will contact patient when their delivery will be sent? Yeah, I guess as part of the workflow um, messaging, some of that is very customizable. And so when we get the, you know, like we could create an out for delivery queue for you, and the message that a patient would see then would be different or would be customizable based on, on what you wanted to say. So there's a lot of customization that can happen here. It's generally once and done, so it's not something that pharmacies need to worry about. 
But the other option here is if you're using um, Kroll's outbound communication, you have the ability to send different types of messaging, um, as well as we now, through the outbound communication module in 1020, we now offer free form messaging uh, by way of SMS or email. Okay. Um, how would they pay for the prescription if they choose delivery? So pharmacies that offer delivery have one of two ways of doing that. They'll either collect uh, on the prescription balance over the phone using credit card, or uh, most pharmacies are now sending a terminal to the door with the delivery driver where the patient can then use the payment option of their choice. We don't have any more questions for now. I guess maybe I'll we just top have... up that, that last question, Veronique, on payment. We are in the process of scoping out development on mobile pay for the PharmaConnect app, which would allow patients to pay for their prescriptions in the app directly through a payment service. So that will not come until later in the year, but it is something that's actively part of our development roadmap. And maybe Veronique, while we're waiting for any other questions, if a pharmacy wanted to take advantage of our offer, or if they wanted additional information on getting started, what would they do? Yes, so if you, sorry Robert, I was monitoring the question. Um, so yes, if you want to take advantage of the um, actual promotion, um, and just so you know, if you, uh, it's, it's a trial too, so if you need to cancel after um, the, the period uh, at no cost, you can do so. Um, you can go visit the teleshealth.com slash COVID-19 pharmacy link, and uh, you will be able to register for the service or ask for um, a callback from one of our team members to give you more information. I can also make an email uh, address available, pharmaconnect.telus.com. If you have any other questions, need any other information, using that email is an easy way to get in touch with us. That's pharmaconnect.telus.com. Um, oh, we do have another question. So do we, do we have to sign up for a specific term for the offer? No. Um, it's advantageous for a pharmacy to sign up for a specific term to take advantage of uh, pricing over the longer term, but we do allow month to month. How do we get consent for enrollment of other adult family members? That's a great question. So within Kroll, on the patient profile, there is a consent tab. You can create a custom consent uh, copy there where you can make note of the fact that a patient consented to provide a caregiver of their selection um, with access to their profile. So in the case of our test uh, patient, Jane, uh, sorry, Brenda, um, we perhaps would see a situation where Brenda's mother was on the phone with her. Um, you likely know Brenda and her mother already as being patients in your pharmacy and can accept that um, consent over the phone. In ideal times when they're in pharmacy, you could have a signature on a consent document if you're choosing. Um, Again, recording consent is, is an, an option in pharmacy that exists now within Kroll. So we would encourage that method of, of tracking it if you need to. Um, there isn't currently a consent model built into PharmaConnect in an automated fashion. So that's our, our reason for leaning in toward that existing functionality. We do have another question now. Is there a way for patients to ask questions uh, or free form questions to pharmacy? If yes, can we get them to call the pharmacy instead? Hmm. Yeah, we have not built in communication, uh, two-way communication into the application, specifically because so many pharmacies in their existing operations are not prepared to receive a new channel of communication from patients that they're not trained to or they're not currently using. Um, the option to have patients um, source you for information is best done by phone um, or email if you make that available on your pharmacy website. But we don't offer a channel directly through the app for two-way communication. Perfect. So let's conclude this webinar. Again, I want to thank everybody for attending. I know your lives are incredibly busy, and I look forward to speaking with all of you soon.